Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and welcome to iWebs. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to use YouTube Insight so that you can get a good understanding of how your videos are performing and how you can use the information to improve your future videos. Now, some of these particular settings might only be available if you're a partner, but most of them will apply to you. So at the moment I'm on my video uh, playlist uh, section here which shows all of the videos I've uploaded to my channel. It might appear slightly differently depending on uh, when you created your YouTube account. So I'm going to go up to this top bar here and move along to where it says Insight. And this is going to give me an overall look at how my channel has been performing. So not an individual video but how my whole channel is performing. So it's loading the data now, we can see the wheel spinning here. So this is the insight information you're gonna get for a complete channel, so not individual videos. And just above here, we've got this graph which shows how your views have been going. And the period that it's showing me at the moment is July 29th to August 11th, so around about two week period. Now we can click on any of these tabs here and look at it by day, week, month, three months, six months, uh, yearly or since you opened your account. I normally look at it on a weekly and monthly basis so I'm going to click the monthly tab and this just extends uh, the range just here. So we're now looking at a whole month and it's shown me that I, for the selected date range, so for the last month I've had just over a million views which is really good. Um, we've also got a summary of views here and it just shows you a little table on a daily basis so you can see where your videos are peaking also shows you um, your uh, sort of top performing videos and what percentage during that period that you've selected of views they represent. So this particular one at the top here has been 7.5% of the views. We can also scroll down and see demographics. That so shows you that 85% of my audience is male, 15% is female, and also their age ranges as well. And it also shows you in which countries your videos are popular. So that's really useful information. Now we can click on views in the tab here and this gives you a drill down view of, um, of, of views rather than a summary. And here you're gonna get more information about your top performing videos. We've also got discovery. This is very interesting um, interface because it shows you how people are discovering your videos. Um, and it could be from an external website and you need to find out where that website is. You, you have got tools in another interface, which I'll show you in a later video, as to how you can find out where those external links are coming from. But this particular one shows me that 31.2% of my videos are actually discovered on YouTube search. Uh, YouTube related videos, so people clicking through from other videos, 22.4% for that particular period. We've also got a demographics tab uh, again, this is just a, a bigger view of that summary. We've also got a community tab, which shows you uh, different countries and what percentage uh, of your views are coming from those countries. So again, useful information. And we've also got information about your subscribers. Uh, and this is both new subscribers and subscribers that have, have unsubscribed to your channel. Now, for this particular period, which is the last month, you can see I've picked up 1,971 subscribers, but 468 have unsubscribed as well for various reasons. Perhaps they're redundant accounts, perhaps they've lost interest in your videos. And this is important to take note of because it can help you to be more focused in what you're doing and, and try and produce better videos so that you're engaging your audience a lot better. Now let's look at Insight for an individual video. So let me just scroll down. I've got one that I did a while back on the MacBook Air when that came out. I want to show you that one because it's had a few views on it. It's best to select a video that's got a few views. And you can see the individual video here. And we're clicking the Insight button that's associated with that particular video. Now again here I can't select monthly because it hasn't been on long enough to select a whole month. But if I select the last seven days uh, we can see that I've had 657 views in the last seven days. If I select max, it shows me I've had 11,329 views since I uploaded the video. Um, we can also uh, find out how this video has been discovered. And here we can see that 
I've had 30.1% through YouTube search. External websites is now highlighted and I've got 4.3% of the views on this video from external websites. So I can click on that and see where those views came from. I've got a clientcareer.co.kr, google.com, some from Facebook, some from Twitter. I've even had some views picked up on this one from 9 to 5 Mac, which is really good. So it obviously featured on the 9 to 5 Mac website. So fantastic that they um, featured it there. I think if I click on 9 to 5 Mac, it will actually show me where it was posted um, on 9 to 5 Mac. So I'm assuming that they just mentioned it within one of these articles on this page. I'm not going to view, go through it and look for it now. I'm assuming they posted it somewhere on their website. So let's go back to demographics for this video. And again, this shows me the age range and also the uh, uh, male and female split for who's been watching this video. The community tab again shows me a breakdown by country. Uh, words most used in comments as well, very interesting. Uh, community engagement as well, which is very useful information, but probably the most useful part for me on insight on an individual video is the hotspots and this shows the video playing the red line moves across as it's playing it shows you hotspots as to where people have lost interest and clicked away from your video this is really important very very important this is your audience's attention you can see when it peaks so you can see what they're liking in your video if i pull this across to here where it was peaking I can see what I was doing at that time and it was when I was lifting up the MacBook Air out of that box. I can also um, note what I'm saying at the time that that happened and if I haven't got those in my tags for the video I can add those in to drive, try and drive more views to that particular video. I can also see at this point here people started to stop watching. So maybe I was waffling on a bit in the video, maybe I wasn't being direct with the audience or doing something entertaining or interesting. So again, I can learn from that and make sure that I keep my videos precise to the point. Perhaps don't make them too long. This was a 10 minute video, so perhaps cut it down to sort of a five or six minute video and learn from that so that my future videos hold my audience attention for a long time. So I hope you found this interesting. I wanted to give you a look at YouTube Insight and how I use it to analyze how my videos are performing. Please do subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing plenty more of these videos. Please also subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel as well so you can see these videos that we're looking at now. And I'll see you all again in the next video.